Good morning and welcome to my Wednesday. The temperatures have gone a bit lower today. They're still 27 degrees in the kitchen, but quite a bit lower than that outside. I had a better night's sleep last night. I hope you did too, because it's been our whole country of people not being able to sleep at the moment. But I had an ingenious plan. My mother had bought me this thing. This thing, years ago for Christmas. It's a, a thing that you're meant to soak with water and you just you know, drape it on yourself. Well, it did make a difference actually. So thanks for that, mummy, if you're watching. <laughs> Very fashionable. I was like moving it around different parts of the body lying there on the bed. Anyway, I had literally just sat down to start work on tonight's vlog. I've been up quite well actually. Um, and then I thought, oh, I'm starting the vlog. So I'm starting the vlog. We're going out today. So I'm trying to get everything wrapped up over the next few hours to get ready to leave. We're gonna go and meet my mummy. And we're gonna have a cup of tea and cake with her in Cardiff. It is later. I'm making some sandwiches while my vlog's just finishing off exporting. Ham sandwiches for Izzy, cheese for me to eat on the train. Also gonna put that fruit in as well. Yeah! Doing my language learning on the train today. Well, we're on a very fancy train today. I haven't seen one like this before trying not to film the people it's pretty quiet as in not busy not as in volume it's quite noisy volume wise <laughs> funny thing the english language quiet just that word alone can mean not busy or not noisy i mean it is noisy anyway um izzy's just up there a bit further up the carriage i came looking for a loo because it was out of order but there's no loo up that way but it's okay I can go when we change trains. We've got handy little USB charging ports here. No good to Izzy though, because her one's got a USB-C on the end of her lead. Look, this is the bike bit. I just thought I'd show you the train, because I don't know if I've been on one like this before. The weather has really changed. We've gone from extreme heat wave to really bearable temperature. Anyway, I should go back and join her now. Look, three seats. I'm back. I'm gonna have my cheese sandwich now and try not to think about how much I need a wee. Responding to a few comments now while I have a few moments. We're just coming into Cardiff Central now. We're gonna change here and head over to Canton. So we're gonna get the train to Ninian Park. There's our train, I think. <laughs> Oh, we just nearly got on the wrong train. Luckily, I asked the man. <laughs> it's the next one. So I'm just waiting. I luckily managed to dive in and use the loo. Thank goodness. Izzy's doing the same thing now. While well, we're here, quick bit of sightseeing. Here we have the Brains Brewery. That great big chimney there. It's got brains written on it. Uh oh. There's a big school group or something on the train with us at the same time. They were very active on the platform waiting. It's amazing how much energy children have. I remember our gig that we did on Sunday. They just couldn't keep still. Like when they were being instructed, they were moving around so much. You forget, I think. <laughs> Ooh, I like coming on this route because you get to look at all the other trains and there's like a train wash and sometimes you get to see them going through the train wash while it's actually working. I like that sort of thing. <laughs> Mustn't forget mum's presents for her birthday. We are now at Ninian Park. This train is for Radha. It's really weird coming down here for me because I used to live here. So it's eerily familiar to me even though it's changed a little bit. Green man! That's the back of Tesco's there, we're going this way. Now that bit of area by there which is now occupied with a like a, a court or something when I was a kid, it was just like a load of rubble and a bit of waste ground, and we always used to call it a bomb site. And it's funny, isn't it? So that would have been, oh, early, early to mid 80s or something like that. And it's funny, it must have been a, a throw over from the war. And it's only when you get older that you realize how close you lived to those war days. 
when the fact that you're a child and your parents are still referring to waste ground as bomb sites. Anyway, here is St John the Baptist's church <laughs> on a roundabout here. We're just cutting through right along the path by the church. We're heading up to the main road. We're gonna try and buy water shoes. I need some grippy water shoes for my daughter for something that's coming up soon. Whoops, mind your head. Walking along Cowbridge Road East at the moment, looking for a shoe zone. I've just bumped into an old friend who hasn't seen Izzy since she was a little girl. Uh, he reckons there is a shoe zone down here, so. But we haven't got very long and then we're meeting up with my mum. That used to be Woolworths, that did. Look, it's a great big charity shop now. Bean freaks won't be surprised if my mum's in there today. She's not at the moment though, I just had a quick peep in. She's a fan of bean freaks. My friend also suggested we might have a look in home bargains. Because I'm beginning to wonder if we might have both dreamt about there being a shoe zone because we haven't seen one yet. Hello, Mr. Policeman. Probably don't really need a basket, but you never know. You know what it's like in home bargains. You end up getting impulsive. This looks like the sort of place that would have aqua shoes. They've got little flotation devices there. Flip-flops are definitely not going to be allowed. They need to be proper aqua shoes. Oh, I don't know if they've got them. They've got actual school shoes in here, look. And schooly stuff like hairbands and clips and things in school colours. They don't have aqua shoes, never mind. We're heading back off to Chapter now for our little birthday meetup. I won't be able to film very much of that, but I'll get a few shots, you know what I'm like. This is Chapter, would you believe? I went to nursery school in there and then later in a little sort of an outbuilding out the back. Look, they've got these huge artichokes growing. Like massive, there's a big bee or something in there. This is how big they are, look. They've got a community garden and they grow loads of stuff. Raspberry canes, I think. Yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? I think I can hear drama activities going on. It's an art centre and it's got a bar and cafe and cinema, theatre. I'm just doing a bit of filming, been here for absolutely ages. My mum's just getting some water as he's just out of the way a minute. So he's like, I'm just a bit of sneaky film. Oh, mum's coming back. Mum thought I was filming her then. No, nope. I'm just having a sneaky film. I've just gone for a second coffee. I had a bit of hoo-ha with the till. My payment just didn't go through. And I, I noticed at the time something was funny about it. I'll tell you later. Look, coffee and walnut cake. Got it for free and I'll tell you the story after we've left. Okay, we are heading back towards the train station now. I'll tell you about the coffee and cake thing when I get home. Nearly at the station. We're having a very sociable day. Just bumped into somebody else I knew as well and had a lovely chat. Stopped and chatted on the pavement for a bit. Up we go. We've got to go via town and back out again. <laughs> Just a bit of a pain. We've got to change trains. Yeah, so we bumped into a friend in Canton when we were looking for shoes, as I told you. And he came and met with us in Chapters because he's a friend of my mum's as well. And then, just after he left, another one of our mutual friends came in. So we had a lovely chat to her for an hour. And then on the way back to the station, another one came. It comes, it kind of looks skinny, but it isn't. Oh, it's just one carriage. That's why it looks peculiar. <laughs> we are now at Park. Anyone else? This train is for Carlton. We're not going to be on this for very long, we're changing at Central. We get to look at the train wash from this side. There are the trains in the shed, look. Loads of trains, this is like train spot of heaven here. Look at them all. Oh, that's a funny looking one there. I haven't seen one like that before, it's got a funny nose on it. Take it to the face, please. Hello. I'm looking at the trains. <laughs> Reminds me of Thomas the Tank Engine. Seen all these trains everywhere. Cardiff Central. Oh, 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 oh. Thank you. Look, there's a and train wash. Here for connecting bus services to local destinations. What am I like? It's like a giant train set. Oh, that was noisy. This is our top wheel service to Carlton. 
The next stop is Cardiff Central. Please exit here for the Valley Line destinations, mainline destinations and connecting bus routes. Nearly there already. It's a very short hop. The driver's in there. Where we are, getting off the side. We're waiting in the waiting room for our connection. Somebody's going to be spitting. There was an AirPod charger, you know, like the case where, not the charger, but the case. Well, it is the charger and the case. Somebody left it here. Anyway, I went and handed it in. So if you lost your AirPod charger in this waiting room, go and see them at Lost Property. I think it's Newport these days, but don't quote me on that. Anyway, nice picture of the castle keep, don't you think? If you're wondering what it's like in the waiting room here, you've got three pin chargers, USB chargers there. And over here, it says, please give up this space to wheelchair users. You've got some there and there. And it's accessible, so you've got buttons to press for the exit. Oh, and this bit here's a comfy seat. It like goes up there. Table, I don't know if we've got a table on this one. I think I can be editing on my lap. Okay, it's these trains. Looks like I'm gonna be editing on my lap, which is a big massive pain in the butt. It's always a bit hit and miss whether you're gonna get a good working stint in on a train. <laughs> but I'm gonna try. We're back from our gallivanting. It's about half past seven. I'm gonna make like a pasta meal with veggie mints in a minute, which I probably won't film. But right, I did promise you I'd tell you what happened about how I got free cake in chapter. So this is what happened. I was trying to pay for Izzy's lunch, cup of tea for my mum, flat white for me and a drink for Izzy. And I was like doing that with the card and there was no beep and no little receipt came out. But the till seemed to think that I'd paid. But I said to the lady, I'm sure it hasn't gone through. And she was like, uh, uh, and, the, and like the manager type person came along and they were like trying to puzzle it out. I said, look, we're not going anywhere for a couple of hours. Just, you know, if you need me to come and pay, just come find me. And nobody said anything for like an hour and a half or something. And I was checking in my bank app and two subsequent transactions had gone through on my banking app, but that one hadn't, the big one hadn't. So I went up again. I was like, look, please, can I pay for this? Uh, I haven't got any cash, but what about if you give me your bank details? Can I do it by backs? And they said, oh, no, no. And anyway, I went and sat back down again. And then a, a man came along and with the receipt, he said, yeah, okay, we figured out it really didn't go through. We want to thank you for your honesty. Uh, would you like a free piece of cake or a coffee? And I just ordered a coffee, so I had a free piece of cake. But anyway, then a friend came in and the cake was like literally too much for me. <laughs> so she ate the other half of it for me. So that was very convenient. Anyway, yeah, we had a really, really lovely day. But I am just going to crack on now and cook our dinner. Thank you so much for watching this video. Could you please give it a like if you liked it, if you would like to help support my channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!